this week we have the new and slightly improved arm dealer strike as our grandmaster dropping the malicious birthright now i believe this gun goes away after this season so if you need a malicious birthright farm this nightfall it's really not too too bad before we get into it obviously like comment and subscribe if you want to support me in the channel and we're going to have a quick word from our now the first part of the strike hasn't changed too much from its previous iteration all you're going to do is move through this area defeat the cabal and the champions that spawn and have your ghost unlock the door to the landing pad once you're out on the landing pad again not a lot here changes you're going to defeat the cabal the elites and the champions and deal with the thresher that is going to pelt just absolute hellfire down upon you once all of these enemies have been defeated you can then take the jump pad across where we start encountering the new aspects of this stripe once you take the jump pad, then you're going to be confronted with a bunch of ads that spawn in. I went to the right hand side so I could deal with the two scions that are hanging out over here so they wouldn't be a problem. A barrier champion is going to spawn, you and your teammates deal with him, and then you can proceed on to the next area. Now, if you want to, you and your team can sit on this platform and just shoot at enemies from across here to get rid of them a lot easier, or you could just jump across and deal with them head on. What I recommend doing first is dealing with the barrier champion at the deposit, so this way when you go back and get the solar cell that you have to deposit to free Keitel's Cabal that are helping you throughout this entire Grandmaster. He's not there for you to deal with. So deal with him, deal with the elite that has the solar charge, deposit the solar charge, and deal with the enemies that are going to spawn. There's going to be another barrier champion. Then there might be two barrier champions here. I didn't remember to count them. And an unstoppable champion before you move on. Once you get into this next area where you could just sparrow past and hang out on one of the chains for the door, you can't do that anymore. Now, we have to go up the right side, deal with an unstoppable champion and some gladiators, and free Keitel's Cabal. To do so, we have to destroy and defeat all of the Cabal that are going to spawn, while also making sure that we avoid fire from the ships. Now, with the ships, you can destroy the turrets on them. The big Cabal carriers, you can destroy the turrets on them, which makes this a lot easier. They do take quite a bit of shots to destroy, but I promise you it is going to be well worth it in the long run. Defeat the Cabal Elite that has the Solar Charm and deposit it freeing the cabal that have been captured and then you're going to turn around and begin working your way into the ship where a ton more cabal spawn as well as another unstoppable champion take care of them push up deal with a barrier champion and then another elite that has a solar charge you're the only going to deposit the solar charge and we're going to move into what i would consider i guess the vehicle bay once you're in this vehicle bay you then have to deal with one of the goliath tanks as well as a bunch of ads i highly recommend taking care of the goliath tank first as he will one shot you once the tank has been dealt with you can push into this room a little bit and deal with the ads of the champions that spawn work your way up the left hand side an unstoppable champion is going to walk down the ramp in front of you and i believe a barrier champion spawns out of the door to your left where a bunch of the other cabal come out of once you've dealt with them you can then push up and you can start lowering the elevator now in the previous version you had to flip two switches i believe in this one you only have to flip the one i wasn't paying attention too much either way flip the switch or switches you need to flip and immediately turn around one because now war beasts are going to come out of the door behind you what you do with them and the elevator has been lowered there's no goliath tank this time instead there is a tormentor and this tormentor is not too too bad but he's also a pain if you have strand you can suspend him and make him a lot easier to deal with also a big thing you have to worry about here is the scorpius turrets as they will melt you deal with the tormentor while you're fighting the tormentor when he gets to certain health thresholds more champions are going to spawn and they're going to be more war beasts that spawn out of the door behind you just keep an eye out and an ear out for those spawn once you have dealt with everything in this room we can then move on to our first encounter with dear old Barakas zon once your ghost scans and opens the door you can then push in i always jump up to the right hand side and then deal with the champion that can sometimes spawn up here or just the regular ad the unstoppable champion can sometimes spawn below or spawn up here he's a little picky on where he wants to go deal with him deal with the scorpius turrets get barakas on to move to the next platform deal with the two or three barrier champions again i didn't count i don't really remember all i know is there's at least two barrier champions here deal with them get barakas on to jump up and then you can begin the platform rising when the platform begins to rise there's going to be a spawn of cabal there's going to be an unstoppable champion among them get rid of them and then begin the ascent to the 
the battlefield. Now, in previous version of this strike, Rakazan used to peek out and take shots at you. He doesn't do that anymore. He's learned after getting numerous Galahorn shots to the face preemptively, he doesn't do it anymore. However, as soon as you arrive at the top of this little airfield, there are going to be like 12 Scorpius turrets just aiming down at you. You need to get off of this platform area as fast as humanly possible and start dealing with these turrets. Once the turrets have been dealt with, you can then shoot at Baraka Zan and he'll go up into his tower. When he goes up into his tower, a few things are going to happen. A bunch of Cabal are going to spawn and there's going to be one of those Cabal carriers that spawns. Get rid of the turret on the Cabal carrier. Make sure that it doesn't bother you anymore. This way it's not a hassle because they will one shot you. Defeat the Cabal with the solar cell and then go deposit it. When you deposit the solar cells now, obviously his tower is going to lower and make him available to be damaged, but also there are going to be more of Keitel's Cabal that will help you. This is amazing because these Cabal absolutely demolish any and all red bars that try to push you, namely the war beasts that spawn out. I've seen these Cabal decimate just waves of war beasts to save me and it's a it's so good to see get baraka zan down to the last third of his health and it's going to be the same thing defeat a bunch of cabal deposit a solar charge and then just absolutely demolish him and watch all that loot fall on the right hand side of your screen when it comes to recommendations, the only two things I can really recommend is Skyburner's Oath because this is a Cabal based strike. It does the bonus damage to Cabal, it can pierce failing shields, it does extra scorch damage which played really well with my Warlock build that I like to use, and the other thing I can really recommend is Strand. Strand is so good for ad control and I love it so much. It makes dealing with champions super easy. When it comes to the strike itself, I like the way that they rework this, just enough to feel different but not enough to make it feel completely Completely different. I like it. Makes me kind of excited for the next strikes that they're redoing, which is Inverted Spire and Exodus Crash. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about the reworked and the upcoming reworked strikes, and I'll see you guys in the next video.